Hello and welcome back. What I'd like to do is to just talk about pain and it's kind of related to something that I've just read about uh, when I finished this book by uh, Dr Wayne Dyer, Stop the Excuses. Now many of the things that I have discovered I have found have been through certainly experiences and changes that I've put into my life and also I've seen in other people's lives. But what I find interesting is that, as I said to you before, I don't believe anything and everything that I see, hear, feel and all the rest of it. However, there's certain things that obviously if they resonate well with me, I'll go and I'll hold on to them. So ego is possession. I'm not saying ego is a bad thing. I'll hold on to it and then I'll give it out and, you know, transmit it to you. Now, what I want to speak about, I say, is pain, because pain to me is a teacher of life. It gives us a wonderful opportunity to change our direction. The question is, what's the cause of the pain? Now, obviously, if you've been in an accident or what I call an acute trauma, then obviously it's because something's broken, been separated. Um, and what's interesting is that if you can feel something, then you can heal it. So if you can feel the pain, I'm not saying go out of your way to, to find it by any means, but if you can feel pain, then your body's doing the best job it can to heal you. Because I've said before, there are no drugs, pills, potions, supplements or anything. No panacea of all ills will be found in a bottle. Your body will heal itself when it's given the right menu. And we are designed to obviously think beautiful, loving thoughts, to breathe fully and deeply, to drink good water daily, to consume the foods, not products, but foods that are right for us, to get to bed by 10 o'clock as a guide, <laughs> sleep um, unaffected without your router system on or your router system on for about eight hours. Again, depending on the time of year, it might be eight and a half, it might be seven and a half hours. Again, find what's right for you. You shouldn't be waking up, going to the bathroom and going back to sleep again, none of those things. Or if you do wake up at night, ensure you don't have any bright lights on because, as I say, that sends a signal to the uh, pineal gland to stop producing uh, melatonin. So, and then the other thing obviously is doing, as another habit of, of mine, uh, do creative movement daily. Um, 30 minutes or so. But what I want to do is just share this thing that's in this book because it just resonates so well with me. It's on page 221. Pain, anxiety, fear, anger and the like make themselves known in your body as rashes, eczema, heart palpitations, arthritis, backaches, headache, stomach aches, diarrhea, eye strain, cramps and many more ailments too numerous to mention here. The point is that these emotional reactions that show up in your body can become your way of life to the point that they define your reality. And when you're questioning why that is, that's when the excuse, I've always been this way, tends to rear its ugly head. What I have found is that a lot of people are creating a lifestyle around their own pathology or their own pathologies. In other words, they'll go to their doctor or they'll read about something and they'll hold on to it and go, this is me. So an example would be when I had my health studio, I used to um, obviously invite people to take control of their health and remind them how to do that. And I remember once I, this lady came into my studio and I, one of the first questions I asked her is, can I imagine her life without the arthritis in, that she had in her knees? And she stopped and thought about it for a moment and then said, no. And I said, well, that's OK. However, I only deal in health, I don't deal in disease, I suggest you carry on seeing your doctor. Yeah, because if we can't imagine our life being pain free and, and how it used to be, then that's to me is is 50% of the journey getting there is actually believing this is where I want to get to, again without an expectation. So that's the thing that I found. And so the question over to you really, if you do have any pain in your life, and obviously I listed a lot of other things from eczema all the way through. What is the etiology? What is the root cause? Find out what it is. The unfortunate thing is, just to reiterate, is that if we've had it for a period of time, however long that may be in our lives, it then becomes a part of us. And I even know of people who actually carry on living a dysfunctional lifestyle through the pain that they've created by having made poor lifestyle choices. 
you know, they, they suddenly accept that they're obese and that they can't do their shoelaces. Or they'll suddenly accept that um, they'll always have a headache, you know, every Thursday at five o'clock or whatever it is. So my invite to you is to find out what is causing the pain and start there. I'm not into taking drugs to treat symptoms because you and I both know that a headache wasn't caused by not having an aspirin. So seek to understand the etiology, the root cause of what is causing, say, a headache. I've never had a headache in my life, so I can't empathize with anyone that has. I will certainly show compassion to those that get them or have them. But understand that you've created it. It's one way, one way your body is communicating to you to say, hey, change your direction. So how do you do that? And that's an individual journey to find out. So again, pain is a teacher of life. It gives us that wonderful opportunity to change our direction. And my hope is that you are living a pain-free life. And if you are, show others how to live that life. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening. Create yourself a wonderful day. My name's Magnus Molina. Bye for now.